Hello, I'm Chef Marcus Burek. Thanks for joining us again. Today we are going to sharpen knives. I'm going to show you the correct technique how to sharpen knives. The reason I'm doing this is for one, I do go to a lot of houses when I'm doing my catering and I see tons of dull knives. Just so you know, a dull knife is 10 times more dangerous than a sharp knife. People will try harder to push through a harder object such as a spaghetti squash or a butternut squash or some object, uh, parmesan cheese, something that is very hard to cut through. Well, if it's dull, it's going to take even more pressure to cut through. So when you're adding more pressure, that's going to be more pressure if you do make a mistake and slip and it goes into your skin. So today I am going to show you the proper way of sharpening a knife. What we have here, this is a three stone sharpener. It has a fine stone. This is a medium stone and then we have a coarse stone. Usually with this you uh, with these kind of stones you're going to use an oil and the oil is just going to help with friction. Um, I like to use water but basically what these stones are is I guess the best way I can describe it is it is like a sandpaper and what we're trying to do is basically your knife edge when it's sharp will look like this when it's dull it's going to look like this so what we're trying to do is just file away these edges of metal and get those back to a point again I am going to start on a fine stone just because my knives are usually sharp you're going to want to do this with a stone probably once every two weeks I'm a professional chef I use my knives every single day I usually do this uh, about every other day I'm going to take my knives to a stone and just get them nice good and sharp when I'm doing that all I have to do is just run them across the stone a couple times it brings it back um, and then I can hone it with a steel or a diamond steel but all we're going to do is you want to take your knife and you're going to want to put it at 20 degrees. Best way to find 20 degrees, put it straight up on your stone, come down by half, and then just a little bit more. And that's going to be about 20 degrees. Now the motion we're going to use is we're going to go up on the stone, sliding across the stone. Now if you're right-handed, you'll go the other way. Start at the tip, and as you're moving up the stone, you're going to push it across. Now I like to pick my knife up and do it there. You can do this motion as well. But what I'm doing is pressure on this stroke, no pressure bringing my knife back. I can bring this back and pick it off the stone. I've done it a hundred times and I could find that 20 degrees angle again. If you have a very hard time finding a 20 degrees angle, it's best for you to do this technique is where you're keeping it on the stone so you don't have to pick it up and find it every single time. So what you want to do start so it's pressure no pressure pressure no pressure all right so what we're going to do with that is you're going to feel on this side like ooh, that knife is getting good and sharp basically what is happening right now is this edge is finding this side of the knife that you're doing is finding that edge but it's curling over a little bit so what you need to do is start to file down the other side now where those two edges are going to start to meet. So we just did this side. All you're going to do is take your knife, flip it over, find that 20 degrees, halfway down, and just a little bit more. Feel that. We have a beautiful edge. Now with a dull knife, like I said, it's going to take a little bit longer. You're going to have to work on a little bit more. Switch it. Now with a, you could just get a fine stone. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. With three stone like this, this is actually a very expensive uh, sharpener. This costs about $220, a little bit more um, in some places, but it does have three stones. So. If my knife was extremely dull, I would start on this coarser, as you could hear that. That side. This will make your knife sharpening go much quicker. Then what I would do is I would switch to my medium.
nice and sharp. And then I would go to my fine stone. This will get off all the metal burrs. And what you want to do is make sure you wipe off. And as you can see, that's all your metal that's you're filing down. So you definitely want to make sure you clean your knife really well before you start cutting food with it. Then what I'm going to do is take a diamond steel, a little bit different. A diamond steel is basically going to help you get that angle a little bit better than a round steel. So what I'm going to do is that is going to hone all my edge. Now I have a razor sharp edge. You can do a paper test, just take your knife, take it right down the edge of the paper and it should cut nice and easy. If it doesn't, then you need to keep on sharpening. Now there's a different way, a lot of people will get very nervous about the way they're doing a knife. Oh my gosh, that blade's coming right down to me. So what you want to do is, you know, set 90, Come halfway, 45, and then half, a little bit more than half of that, and you'll get your 20. You're going to come down. This sometimes makes people very nervous coming straight towards our hand. What you can do as well is just put it on the table and do this. Just make sure you don't hit the table because then you're going to dull your edge again, like I just did. So, so I hope you learn how to do that. What you also can do, let's say you use your tip a lot or the heel, what you could do with the tip, you don't have to go back and forth. You could just use the same technique and just get that tip nice and sharp. If you were cutting, you know, bones or something like that, or just the heel. So that is the way to sharpen a knife. It's not as hard as you think. Um, if you do get a stone that doesn't have a stand like this as well for safety reasons, put a damp cloth underneath that stone to hold it on the table so it's not going to move around on you. You want it to be very secure so it, so it isn't going to move and you're going to hurt yourself just sharpening your knife. But I hope you learned a lot on that. Please uh, visit our other segments and stay tuned for our next show. Thank you.